Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Zed Ali Al Sagoff, and welcome to this short tutorial on how to design and create animated GIF in PowerPoint. Yes, you can do it in PowerPoint. You don't need all these fancy tools. You can just do it straight in PowerPoint if you're using PowerPoint. If you're wondering what is animated GIF, it's basically just a few images put together and it looks like an animation. It's how they can, you can use the term frames. It's often, often used frames. It's kind of things that they do in movies. They put together multiple pictures and it looks like an animation. So let's see how it can be done and it can be done very nicely in PowerPoint. Actually, even before going into PowerPoint, it's a good idea to have an idea of what you want to do. And some people might use all the tools or just sticky notes, put together your idea and a piece of paper, think about it, and then use the technology uh, instead of just going into technology and get lost in playing around with this and that. So at least you have some idea what you want to do. And that's a good start before actually going into PowerPoint. Okay, as you can see here, I actually did not use PowerPoint to develop my items for my animated GIF. You could do this in PowerPoint, but I like to use Autodesk Sketchbook, which is my favorite tool to draw. I, that's the only tool I draw in, so I draw a lot, so I've been so used to it. So what I did is I actually created all the individual items in uh, in Autodesk Sketchbook, and then I actually cropped them and then made them into individual images, which I put into PowerPoint later to create my animated GIF. But I have to give you some advice here is that uh, you could, of course, use existing images uh, found on the internet, but you, you have two issues with that. One is uh, lack of originality, but that one you can, people don't sometimes don't care secondly you have to worry about copyright and thirdly it's very difficult if you have a scene or scenario to get images that match each other because you might use images from different illustrators and so on so it doesn't look nice to it doesn't look like professional so my advice is uh, especially if you're doing educational content I think most things can be learned how to draw and if you ever want to help in that you can always ask me but actually you can learn how to draw whatever you want especially for educational content so that's my advice before you actually create your animated GIF Okay, now we're in the, my PowerPoint slide. You can see here, actually creating anime GIF is just creating a slide, uh, a, a slide presentation. And you can see the different slides creating the scene. So what I've done, as I said, I developed the images or drawn the images in Autodesk Sketchbook, which you can do also in PowerPoint, but it's a bit more complicated if you're, if you're not used to it. Uh, so you notice here, the first image I have was an egg, which I put here. And you can actually, to make it very interesting, you can do transitions or you can animation and it comes in, of course, the animated GIF. You can use the animation, which I've done here, or transition, which is morph. Uh, so morphing is uh, cool because it gets transition. But you must remember when you use transitions, your file size will increase at least three times. So if you do not want to have morphing, I, I don't recommend. But I do have it. I'll show you later the difference between morph and not morph or using transitions. So next here, the next uh, slide, what I did is I have the egg cracked up and then I have the egg breaking up and on the image and then I have the, you can see inside here, you can see the, the coronavirus coming up and then it's coming up now clearer, another slide, transition and then the third slide, the coronavirus, uh, coronavirus is coming up big size. You could do this in a one animation, but it does not look good. So what I did is I did individual uh, slides and you can see the sun starts coming out here and then... Uh, the next slide, because the sun is so hot and you know coronavirus is like hot, so the sun burns the the corona and it becomes melted here. You can see it's melted and the sun is shocked to see he has melted the coronavirus, he's killed the coronavirus. And the next image I have a injection, which is typical for medical content. You can see the injection, empty injection, which is gonna suck up this coronavirus, basically is to find out what this coronavirus and then research on it. And the next slide I actually have the same injection. You can see here, but it's full. And I made this a bit longer so it looks like I'm sucking out the uh, the corona melted coronavirus which is also gone here and then in the this slide is it's totally empty and the injection is gone and then the fourth slide I mean for next slide I have actually the vaccine which and then using some form of animation which you can to make it a bit more nice and then I have one more slide to actually uh, to make it last a bit longer you can select that so once you're done with your uh, whatever you want to do is actually just creating a presentation and then saving it not as a video but as an animated gif so how do you do that you go actually to file and then you go to export and when you go to export you can see you have a lot of options here you just go to create animated gif and then you select the size uh, i would recommend if you're going to put it uh, you can do it small if but if you're going to use it for uh, for video or TV or something, then you should use medium or large. But if you're just going to use it for phone, small is good enough. And then you want to have how many seconds spent on each slide. I, I just use the default one second. If you want it to go slower, you can make it slower, you can make it faster. And once you're done, you just click create GIF. And that's it. And then once you've done that, it will start creating the GIF. Uh, let me just do it. I'm just going to click create GIF and it chooses where to save it. And you save it where you want to save it. 
uh, and it saves as an animated GIF. And once it's saved, you can Im insert it into any way you want, uh, whether it's social media or even in your PowerPoint itself. I'm just going to cancel it now. And that's how easy it is to actually create animated GIF. So when creating your animated GIF in PowerPoint, you can actually have, uh, of course, you can have animation, but you can also have transitions between each slide or each scene or an image. So whether you use transitions or not. So I will show you two examples, the same animated GIF, one with no transitions and one with transitions. But just keep in mind, when you use transitions, your file size will increase dramatically. Just to give an example, when I saved it as small, which is the smallest file, uh, without transition is 1.5 uh, megabyte and with uh, transitions is, is gone up to nearly six megabytes so there is a big difference when you use transitions but of course it might look more professional more soothing and more like a cartoonish animation when you use transitions especially if you're using morphs which i'm going to show you now Okay, now let's look at the same animated GIF with using uh, transitions between each scene or each image using the morph transition. Let's see how that looks. Okay, let's recap. Yes, we can actually create an animated GIF in PowerPoint, at least in 2019. I'm not sure whether it's available in 2016 and below, but I know it's available in PowerPoint 2019, which I'm using here. Now, the first thing, of course, is you have to have your idea. Uh, once you have your idea, you maybe put it in sticky notes, sketches, and so on, uh, or in um, mind map form, or whatever form you want to use. Always go low tech. When you want to do ideation, it's good to go low tech. Okay. Once you've done your idea, you've got the idea, then you start designing your items to, that you want to put in your animated GIF. I use Autodesk Sketchbook. You can use PowerPoint because you can actually draw in PowerPoint or you can integrate images or, or pictures or whatever you want to do to create your animated GIF. Now, once you've done design your presentation, just like creating a normal presentation, now you want to export it and publish it as a animated GIF. So let's do that. So what you do, the first thing you need to do is to go to the file. That's the first thing. Once you go to file, you will see this, this screen here. So then you have to go down to export. Once you click export, uh, you can go, it'll be, you choose the create an animated GIF. Once you've done that, you'll have a different options here. You select the size. I recommend, as I said, uh, if you're, if you're publishing on, on, on mobile devices, small is good enough. But if you want to have better quality, uh, for higher, like TV production or something, then of course you need better quality but remember when you have transitions your file size will increase so it can vary from like for example when I use smaller the, it can vary from 1.8 megabyte which was without transitions to 6 uh, plus uh, or it's just below 6 megabyte for that was my example so the, the more animation or transitions you put the more heavier the file will be and once you decide everything all this and also seconds uh, spent on each slide I use it default but if you want to make it faster you can make it fast if you want to make it slow you can make it slow between each slide and then you just click create gif that's it that's how easy it is to create an animated GIF in PowerPoint. You don't have to use all these fancy, fancy tools because in PowerPoint, you have all these other animation tools so you can make it a bit spicy. I've just started learning and I did a pretty good uh, animated GIF. Of course, I can probably do better, but that, that's a starting point. So that's an example. So I hope you had fun learning how to create an animated GIF in PowerPoint and inshallah, you can do it, no problem. And I'm going to explore it more because I think you can create a lot of amazing, simple animated in engineering, in medicine or biology or any subject, just using animated GIF instead of just using animation and so on. But that's another story. So thank you very much. So wa alaikum as wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and all the best in your creating animated GIF.